To the surprise of absolutely no one, Jimmy Kimmel is already making jokes just days after former Republican Congressman George Santos sued him. During his opening monologue Tuesday night, the late-night host wasted no time addressing the legal issues now surrounding him. It was an eventful weekend for me, Kimmel said as he greeted the audience. Did anyone else get sued by George Santos this weekend? As the crowd burst into laughter, Kimmel continued, I am currently embroiled in what may be the most preposterous lawsuit of all time. George Santos, a man Republicans kicked out of Congress for being a fraud, is suing me for fraud. The former congressman filed a civil lawsuit against Kimmel on Saturday, accusing him of using fake names to misrepresent himself on Cameo, where Kimmel requested a series of ridiculous personalized messages to display Santos. Gregarious personality. Or, as Kimmel put it, George has rudely filed a lawsuit against me, our show, and the Walt Disney Company, because we did a nice thing because we supported him by ordering his Cameo videos. Through Cameo, individuals and businesses can request personalized video messages from celebrities. Kimmel submitted at least 14 Cameo requests for Santos using phony names and narratives, according to the complaint. Santos then recorded the Cameos, having no idea they would later be featured in the new Jimmy Kimmel Live segment, Will Santos Say It? The lawsuit alleges copyright infringement, fraud, breach of contract, and unjust enrichment. He says we deceived him under the guise of fandom, soliciting personalized videos, only to then broadcast these on national television. And if there's one thing George Santos will not stand for, it's using a fake name under false pretenses, Kimmel quipped, referencing reports that Santos employed aliases, such as Anthony Zabrowski, to create various online fundraisers. Santos, an ex-New York congressman infamous for fabricating major parts of his life story during his run for office, was expelled from the House of Representatives last year after being charged with a litany of wrongdoings including fraud, money laundering, and theft. On his late-night show Tuesday night, Kimmel also expressed incredulity at the idea of Santos believing that the submitted cameo requests were real. One of them was about a guy named Gary who ate six pounds of loose ground beef in under 30 minutes, he said. He says he thought these were real messages and that he was duped. Kimmel jokingly added, he's being represented by the prestigious law firm of Pot, Kettle, and Black, explaining that Santos is seeking at least $750,000 in damages with other damages to be determined in court, he added. That is why I'm setting up a GoFundMe right now to the target of $355 million, so we can save this country. This is so good. This is like getting sued for paternity by Nick Cannon.